see this boring filing cabinet? We're gonna make it over because nothing says my parents' basement like a boring metal box. But first, let's meet the inspiration behind this project. This is Paper Purgatory, and Heaven is a filing cabinet. You get the idea. As with all of my DIY projects, this one's affordable and easy, because I am cheap and lazy. I mean frugal and resourceful. So here's the game plan. I'm gonna take these frames, glue them to the surface to give the front a facelift, then I'm gonna spray paint one color all over and one color on the hardware. Now, a lot of DIYers chalk paint their cabinets, but I found an easier way. Spray paint. I'm pretty sure I spend more time researching how to make my projects easier than on the actual projects. See, I can research from my couch, but I have yet to chalk paint and watch Friends reruns. Anyway, all you're gonna need is some household cleaner, clean cloths, sandpaper, two 8x10 frames, epoxy glue, spray paint, drop cloth, gloves, a screwdriver, two handles, and of course, a filing cabinet. Now, if you don't already own one, chances are you could find one at a thrift store or in a Baby Boomer's basement near you. Just go to babyboomersbasement.com. Just kidding, don't do that really don't want you to be the next star of true crime. Simply start off by laying down your drop cloth in an airy room, removing the hardware, and giving this thing a good clean. As a general rule of thumb, five minutes of cleaning for every decade it's been sitting in a basement. I made that up. You can stop cleaning now, Sharon. Next, I'm sanding this thing down because enough DIYers told me to do so. Could I have gotten away with skipping this step? Maybe. Do these unanswered questions keep me up at night? Yes. But I'd rather have done it and not have needed to than have needed to and not have done it. Now that should be an Instagram quote. Definitely didn't do the back because nobody's gonna see it, so why do the extra work? Now it's time to apply the glue and place it on the face of the filing cabinet. My perfectionist may want to mark the area with a pencil to be more precise, but DIY darts is one of my favorite games. So let's eyeball this sucker. And bullseye? Good enough. So once this is adequately dry, the fun part begins, spray painting. But first make sure you're in an airy room and you may even want to mask up. I know I am. I'm doing the cabinet first so it has time to dry. I assume you shake. I'm not sure. I'm not really into reading directions. Ooh. By the way, I threw on goggles because I like my eyes. So I just got done with one coat. I am shocked that one coat's gonna do the trick. It's super thick, which is a testament to this product. Not a sponsor. Rust-Oleum Two Times Ultra Cover Paint and Primer really goes on thick and gets the job done. Then it's time to spray the hardware. Now we just gotta wait for the paint to dry. I highly recommend utilizing the time to catch up on Friends reruns. I'll be there for you when your paint starts to dry. All that's left is to screw on the hardware. And there you have it, a filing cabinet facelift. You look at least three decades younger. I'll be there for you when your paint starts to dry.